Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use and set up a system restore point on your Windows 10 device. So this is going to be pretty straightforward and very reminiscent of earlier versions of Windows and the classic Windows Restore. So even though there are newer and more useful versions of System Restore like resetting your PC, refreshing your computer in Windows 10. System Restore is always a classic feature that a lot of people are familiar with and will go back to. So I wanted to make a brief video just highlighting it for the Windows 10 operating system because believe it or not I don't believe I've really focused on that in any of my videos to date. So I wanted to make a brief video addressing that. So all we have to do to access the System Restore if we can boot into the normal Windows operating environment is just to go to the Star menu and then type in System Restore. There should be something that comes up that says Create a Restore Point right above Control Panel. If you left click on that, you see that underneath Protection Settings it will say what drives are currently have the System Restore protection on. If you wanted to create a system restore point, you can click on this create button right down here, and then you just would give it a name of what you would want to refer to it as. So if you're about to install a program or you're about to do a really big Windows update, you might want to create one here. And then you would just click on create and that would create and save the system restore point. By clicking on this configure button right here, you can manage the disk space you're allotting for the system restore space on your hard drive. So currently allocating about 3% of our hard disk space for our system restore point. And we can actually click on the system restore button right up here if we already had one saved and we wanted to roll back. So we see a window comes up that says restore system files and settings. System restore can help fix problems that might be making your computer run slowly or stop responding. System restore does not affect any of your documents, pictures, or other personal data. Recently installed programs and drivers might be uninstalled. So if you click on next here, you can see all of our system restore points should be listed here. So I usually recommend you restore back to your most recently created restore point. So we can see we have one right here. And then if you click on next, you can click on this finish button to initiate the system restore. Alternatively, if you are unable to boot into the Windows operating system, or if you want to do this outside of the normal desktop environment, if you have a Windows 10 DVD, you could launch a troubleshooting utility by going through as if you were going to install Windows 10. As if you were going to set up and install Windows 10, there's an option, I believe it says repair your PC or repair your computer. And then if you click on that, you can launch a troubleshooting menu. And you can also access that same menu if you can boot into Windows by basically heading back to the start button left clicking on the power icon and then while holding down the shift key on your keyboard if you left click on the restart button here this will launch the troubleshooting utility but again if you're unable to boot into the normal Windows operating environment to do that you can always run and burn a Windows 10 ISO file to a DVD or CD and then boot your computer off of that again click on repair your PC while you're getting the installer set up and you can get to the same screen we are at right here which should say choose an option and you might actually get directed to the troubleshooting window if you are using a CD or DVD to get to this I'm not 100% sure but I believe it'll look very similar to this so just underneath choose an option if we select troubleshoot reset your PC or see advanced options by left clicking on that and then we select advanced options again from this new page the first tile that comes up should say System Restore. Use a restore point recorded on your PC to restore Windows. By left clicking on that, that'll launch a System Restore utility built into Windows. But again, if you have a DVD or CD, you could work off of that as well. So this will take a moment, so just be patient.
Okay, so at this point we would enter our user account password by clicking on the account we're experiencing the problems with. So I'm going to type in our password here. It'd probably be preferred if you use an administrator account. So on the screen it says restore system files and settings. System restore can help fix problems that might be making your computer run slowly or stop responding. System restore does not affect any of your documents, pictures, or other personal data. Recently installed programs and drivers might be uninstalled. At this point you can click on next. Again we can see our restore point we've already created and then we can click on next again. It will give us a little rundown of exactly what time the restore point was created, description that we provided when we originally created the restore point, and what drives are affected. And then please note if you've changed your Windows password recently we recommend that you create a password reset disk. So that means that it might be going back to an older password that you use for Windows. So just keep in, that in mind. You want to make sure you have any passwords you might have used in the past. So you can click on finish here. And then please know that once started, the system restore cannot be interrupted. So I'm going to select yes here to begin the system restore process. Another nice feature about doing this in this environment is if you have any other programs or applications open in the normal Windows operating environment or you have any nasty malware or spyware. If you're working in this area there's less of a chance that it's going to be interrupting and slowing down this process. So it could actually be nice even if you are able to boot into a normal Windows environment to actually restart your computer into this utility and actually run the system restore. So I'm going to let this thing run for a little bit. Once it is done and we get back to the normal Windows operating environment, I will be right back. Okay, so the system restore completed successfully. Your documents have not been affected. Click the restart button to restart the computer. I'm going to click on restart here. This should restart our device. And then we will finish up once we boot back into Windows here. Okay, so I'm going to sign in here.
Okay, so part of the reason why I wanted to boot back into normal Windows mode is that we do get a little pop-up again saying that it completed successfully. So at this point, just click close to get out of this window, and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.